demonstrate the $5 margarita, we're going to make it in a rocks glass. The portions are different. They're getting a short pour of each liquor. What we're going to do here is we're going to use about one ounce of sweet and sour off the gun. We're getting a dive margarita. It's five bucks. Then you're going to get about a half ounce of Rose's Lime. You're going to get about one ounce, ounce and a quarter of tequila, not a full ounce and a half that we normally pour. And then they're going to get about three quarters of an ounce of triple set. So everything is shortened in the $5 margarita. And when you make it, it should perfectly fill up this rocks glass without much extra. Grandma used to say, you get what you pay for. This is a build drink in a pint glass. I want you to measure all the ingredients in this drink because this is a very strong drink. And, we, and any amount of overpouring will be even more dangerous than it already is. So, please measure every ingredient. So, we are going to start with the liquors. We're going to go one ounce of each, right? One ounce of each. White rum. Spiced rum. Banana liqueur. Black raspberry. We're going to go one ounce of orange juice, one ounce of pineapple juice. We're going to go with a splash of grenadine. and a very small, light float of 151. This is in our high octane category and it's the sweetest one. Don't sell more than two to somebody in a couple hour period. This will have a flag garnish, which is an orange and a cherry. I did not make this drink up. This drink sells a lot in South Beach. It's a rum run. Be our hub old fashioned. Um, we're going to be a bullet bar, but for the purposes of now, we're going to do a call ride for the same price. So they call the ride, and they can either have the Knob Creek, they can have the Sazerac, and eventually when we run through those, we'll just have the bullet, and then there'll be another one from Heritage that we're going to have. But it'll be a call ride. And we're going to make it old-fashioned here. Let me clean up some clutter for you. One orange piece and one cherry in the bottom of a rocks glass. Three to four good dashes of bitters. This is not muddling, this is smashing. There is a difference, but you're just gonna smash those ingredients all together and get the acids and the enzymes from the orange rind mixed with the bitters. And then we're going to use a full two ounces of bourbon. So for right now, we're just going to use the rack because we're trying to go through it. Notice I haven't put the ice in yet. I like to mix the bourbon in with all the ingredients before I add the ice. I'm going to use a half ounce of simple syrup. little mix without anything in it. I'm going to add my ice. Make sure it's 
sure it's nice and stirred in there. That is a classic pub, old fashioned. Okay, so this is our final drink. I think we will sell a lot of these. This is a great summer drink, um, and it's different than anything anybody else is doing. So we're gonna chill a cocktail glass. And we're going to mix going to mix a half ounce of simple syrup a half ounce of cavassier we're going to use 1 ounce of chardonnay a little more won't kill them. We're going to shake those ingredients. Why can't we put the champagne in before we shake it? Well, it defeats the purpose of having champagne when you decarbonate and you kill all the carbonation. So that is a very important step there, Captain. Where is my, all my strainers? So you strain those ingredients into the chilled cocktail glass. You fill with champagne. And for now, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. We're just going to cut our own strawberries. We're not gonna waste them until we start selling them and moving them a lot. We'll put three little slices of sliced strawberries inside the champagne bowl. We're gonna make our mojito and we're gonna make it the way that we're gonna make it here at the hub. So it's a shake and strain drink. We're gonna use a Collins glass. You take three limes right. in the bottom of a shaker. I want you to mash those limes up by themselves. We're going to take three to five mint leaves, preferably five. We're running low, three to get the job done. I tear the mint leaves in the palm of my hand, so I just kind of put them together and rip it in half. Give it a good smack and drop it in the shaker. Now, almost half full of ice in the shaker at this point. And that's important because the next step is we're going to use a full shot of rum, ounce and a half, about a half ounce, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. And we're gonna shake the hell out of it with this ice. And now we're gonna strain it in the Collins glass. And you're gonna taste the mint plenty fine. I fill with soda. I give just a splash of Sprite. I can use the remaining mint leaves. This is a little much of a garnish, so I'm going to do even less so we can maximize our mint for next time and we'll garnish. And that is our moment.